If your allergies are getting the best of you right now, folks, you are not alone. So many people complaining about this. The bad news, though, is that experts are predicting it's going to get worse here in North Texas before any relief really sets in. If just looking at plants and trees around town is enough to make your allergies flare up, <coughs> then you're one of many in for a long road ahead when it comes to finding relief from seasonal allergies in North Texas. I get uh, itchy eyes and throat and the cough and annoys everybody at work. They're messing with me right now. Like I can hardly breathe. Sound familiar? Fort Worth allergist Dr. James Hayden says we can thank the roller coaster ride of temperatures lately for these allergens sticking around as long as they have. Because it's been getting warmer and cooler and warmer and cooler, and so it's been kind of a stuttering season. For those prone to side effects, just when you think you're in the clear, he says, it all flares up again. Mountain cedar will be high for a few days and then it'll fall off, but then a week later when the weather changes, it's right back in the air. This pattern isn't expected to end anytime soon, according to experts. The allergens in the air come Compounded with an active flu season are making things even worse. But Dr. Hayden says the best thing you can do is take your allergy medicine ahead of the next weather change. Make sure you're taking your medicines in anticipation of those changes. The medicines work much better to prevent symptoms than to rescue you from symptoms that you're already having. That's the best piece of advice there. Uh, we heard from several people complaining about these allergy symptoms uh, throughout the day uh, and throughout the weekend. Meteorologist Jeff Ray joining me now to talk a little bit about some of these numbers that show that these allergens are up. Uh, <laughs> I thought I escaped it, but about an hour ago, I started feeling Sorry it in my throat. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. It's, we've had a south wind since Saturday. We've had warmer temperatures, above normal temperatures so far this month. And here are the counts. You can see the culprit, juniper, and elm. High amounts of juniper and elm, moderate amounts. Fungus counts are low. But this is a result of these warm temperatures. And oh, when I say warm, I mean warm.